So listen, you're talking about the two dramas you're involved in. You were involved in a real life drama last yeah. summer, weren't you? You were in Barcelona at the in time. Barcelona, of the yeah. We were. Um, my daughter and I went just for like a four day break, and we arrived. The day we arrived, we were on Las Ramblas, and we we just sort of you know doing the touristy thing. Got to the top of the uh, of, you know they're all the market stores with the little trinkets got to yeah, the top. Yeah, it's a very open boulevard, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's a boulevard, and lots of yeah. things going on and stuff. So my daughter said, oh, can we walk back down again? It was just so busy and I just, I said to her, no, I keep feeling like this, you know, we're going to get, a car's going to mount. like you had sort of a premonition. Yeah, yeah. Right, and I you? said, no, no, we'll walk around the edge, of the, the, the pavement on the side. Two days later, we're sitting in a tapas bar, well, a club, not club, I don't take my 10-year-old to club. <laughs> no, in a restaurant. And um, there's just pandemonium, there were gunshots, um, people running into the restaurant. I didn't know what was going on. I so thought you were right in the centre of Right in the middle on. of it, yeah. I didn't know what was going on. I thought, I thought there was a gunman like what happened in Paris. So we ran downstairs to the basement. As I was going down, the chef was coming out of the door, so I pushed my daughter through there. And it's where um, the cold room is, so I put her in there, covered her up with boxes. That's quick thinking. Yeah, but I just, you know, it's, it's weird, because I, I wasn't really thinking about myself. I just thought, how do I get her were safe? Were you calm or were you hysterical? No, I was a bit hysterical. Um, I do like a bit of a drama, but at the same time, I thought, I've got to get her to yeah, safety. Yeah. Um, and I shut, shut her in, and then I thought, oh, my God, what, what if I get shot and they can't find my daughter? So I thought, I'll, um, I'll get her a coat, from because all the staff coats were there hanging. I'll get her a coat so she's warm, and I'll get a pen, and I'll write a note and put it in my pocket and get, in case, you know, I get shot to say my daughter's in the freezer. Freezer, freezer. Find her, yeah. And how was your daughter during this time? Was she's, she really panicked as well? No, yeah, she was crying. But oh, funnily you. enough, after she's been absolutely fine, it's just when we go to a restaurant, she does look for the exit, so she says, oh, can we sit next to the yeah. exit? Um, and so whilst this that. was all happening, mm. um, I mean, when these terrorist attacks happen, and sadly we have had a few, haven't we? Mm. You know, people are trying to text their relatives, mm -hmm. people are trying to sort of say, oh, God, if you don't see me again, I, I love you. Were you thinking of... Well, I was trying to get hold out? of Ronnie and he wouldn't answer his phone. But you so know. I was like... <laughs> I was like we were in, he never lived that one. I was like, we were, in a, we were in an attack, you have to answer your phone. He never answers his but phone. But you'd left your phone upstairs. I left table, my phone upstairs, you? everything had been left upstairs, but they, after about 10 minutes, it was un under control. So they were like, I said, can you bring my phone down? They brought my phone down and I couldn't get hold of anyone. And how do you feel now after all of that? Well, there's this thing called, like, catastrophic thinking. You start thinking that something catastrophic is going to happen. Mm, so wherever you go, you think... You know, I get on a plane, I think, it's going to crash. I just mm. know it's going to crash. Mm. So you're petrified. It's, it's sort of easing. I've not had any help or anything, but it's getting better, and I think time... But I think that happens after all the terrorist attacks, because yeah. Like, yeah. I'll be walking down the street now, and rather than walk on the outside where the, like, yeah. the road is, I tend to walk on the inside, especially if I've got my grandchildren with me, yeah. because it's always there at the That's back That's what of I head. do with my daughter. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and I think inside. we should be more vigilant, shouldn't we, sadly? Yeah. Mm. I mean, you know, you don't like to think you have to, but, mm. um, you know, it's but just... But when sensible. it happens, it seems... Because you, you always think and how, how, how did that resolve? Did you did, when you got out? We did got you out. See we just what walked, happened? Yeah, well, we walked past a few, you know, people that had been injured and, and killed, and then we just went back to the hotel and we stayed there all night because there was more drama going mm. on later. There was sh like you know shootouts and all sorts. Yeah. Oh, so oh. frightening. Yeah, it was very scary. Mm. Very scary. Well, we're very glad you're safely here with us, Mary. Thank you. So much. Thank you.